All right, guys, let's check out these Dryden Chrono Diver kind of watches. Um, I'll put a link in the description because there's multiple different colorways. So let's just talk about the case size and then we'll get into some details as far as what your options might, might be for this guy. Um, of course, the, uh, well, you know what, why we're talking about it? Because this is the Seiko Mecha Quartz, the VK63. Let's go ahead and get the chronograph hand started too. So the case size on these are 42 millimeter, 49 lug to lug. This little blue here, those are just protective covers over the uh, chrono pushers. They don't stay on. You take them off. I mean, I guess you could leave them on for a little while, but those are just covers. Uh, so 49, 13 thick, but that's including that double dome sapphire crystal. If you were to deduct that, you're probably going to drop like about a mil and a half. So it's actually a pretty thin watch. Um, you know, for a, a quartz chronograph, you can still make them pretty thin. So 22 millimeter lug width here. And so you're going to have a ton of different strap options, whether it's stuff you already own or if you want to select whatever Dryden offers. So they have leather straps, they have FKM rubber straps, and they have some NATO straps as well. So you can kind of go, so if you go on their website, even if you just want to play around and you just want to see what you can do, because these are actually assembled in the United States, that's right, they do their assembly here in the U.S., um, you can select custom options. So you can do different bezels. You could do, you know, different colorways with, with a steel bezel or a colored bezel. Um, and then, of course, you can see, you know, this is like a dive bezel. This is like a, a second time zone tracking one. Um, so they'll have different bezel, bezel options for you. And you can mix and match and get things dialed into the way you want. And they'll build it for you. It takes like an extra week instead of just shipping like an inventory regular stock one. I don't think there's any extra charge for that, though. I'll have to double check, but you can just go on the website and look. I don't think there's any extra charge for it. Um, I was seeing prices ranging currently, snapshot, snapshot in time, $279 to $299. That's on sale. They're usually over $300. So right now on sale, they're under $300. Again, you know, we are, what are we at? June 25th, 2020. Um, it'll come in this pouch, or at least th these came in this pouch, and the pouch was tucked into this little tube here, which is some sort of like paper cardboard-ish thing with a, a uh, like a pine lid or whatever wood that is with their branding engraved in it. Um, the straps all have quick-release hardware on them. I think the FKM does too. Yeah, the, even the FKM does as well. So... I think you're going to be able to find a good match no matter what. Or, you know, because you can buy the straps separately too. You can add extras on there. Um, and I already mentioned it has the Seiko VK63 Mecha Quartz in it. Uh, 100 meter water resist. It actually has a screw down crown, which is kind of cool to see. Now, if you're going to operate the pushers underwater, you're going to not have that 100 meter water resist. Don't fiddle with those things. You know, that's not the way it works. So you have your uh, crown, you know, screwed out or whatever you can set your you can you know stop it hack it as quartz movement hack it and set your time do whatever you want to do there uh, 120 click bezel this guy here it's uh still just you know unidirectional it's not bi-directional 120 click uh super luminova i forget what formula or i didn't see it on there i'll do a loom shot at the end maybe we can figure it out together so there's uh let's do a close-up of the green because in certain light, this in natural light, it is a very nice, rich green for sure. And you can see you have the concentric circles and the subdials. You have your running seconds at six. Nice brushed handset. Plenty of bloom inside there. Really nice, clean construction, guys, for sure on these guys. Um, since I have it zoomed in, let's take a look at the blue one as well. I think all of their dials are like this too, where they're kind of shimmery and then their sub dials just, you know, because they have those circles in them, that gives it a different effect. So it really makes them stand out. Even if it is the exact same color, it's just the texture on it. And then you have so much going on around the perimeter there. So you have, you know, fractions of a second, and then you also have, you know, the uh, on the fives printed down below. And then this one, I'm not going to do the bezel on this one. The bezel on this one doesn't sound as good as that one. So I don't know if that would be something that could be uh, adjusted or what. But but the metal bezel insert 
uh, looks really good on the blue for sure, and I'm sure it would have other colors. So let me pop both these on wrist so you can see what they look like on wrist. If I can get this, get this new GBX 100 G-Shock in, I'll do a video on it soon, but man, this thing is killer, the display on it. So let me pop this green one on real quick. I paired it with the darker brown leather. I think it just matches the rich tone of the green better. But there you can see on my six and a quarter inch wrist, wears great. Love the 42 by 49. That's just seems to be my preference these days, you know, 42 to 50 ish range uh, in case size. So I like the uh, wrist presence of it. I like the feel and the size on wrist. Nice soft leather on that. And then this FKM rubber. I was talking to some of my patrons about this because I was confusing um, FKM and vulcanized rubber as being the same, and they're not. There's, they're definitely different, but on wrist, they feel the same. And the FKM rubber, you can get uh, for a lot less price than you can the vulcanized rubber. And I don't know, like I can't really tell the difference on wrist. I'm sure there is a difference when you really come down to the the compound, but from what I understand, the FKM is, uh, um, you know, like man-made stuff or whatever, and then the vulcanized rubber is actually real rubber that is uh, super compressed. I think that's kind of the layman's explanation of it, if you will. So, but both of them feel great on wrist. So it's cool that they offer the FKM. I can, that matches to me. I think the metal bezel, if you're going to do a metal bezel, toss it on the FKM. I think it works really good. All right, let me kill the lights. We'll do a loom shot. And then, like I said, I'll put all of the information down below. Um, it's kind of looking like maybe BGW9. What do you guys think? It looks more bluish to me. And of course, you don't have on the metal bezel, you're not going to have the fully loomed bezel. Um, I mean, I suppose you could. They could have done it. But before I let you go, let me reset that Mecha Quartz. I did have that running the whole time. So you can go ahead and stop it. And then when you reset it, all of the uh, corresponding hands will snap back to dead zero instantly. So that's always satisfying to see that happen. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Also, thanks to Jerry over at Dryden for sending these over uh, very quickly. I'll see you guys on the next vid.